Hello everybody, it's Jess here with Bless Jess. Thank you so much for watching for another daily vlog. So today is Friday for us. You guys are probably seeing this later in the week, but, or at the beginning of the new week. <laughs> Welcome. Um, I have so much to do today, so I thought it'd be fun to carry you guys along with me. We have less than a week before we leave for our vacation, and so I'm trying to work ahead on YouTube and uh, also get stuff done around the house and occupy a two-year-old. All fun things, <laughs> all crazy things. So the kids, the big kids got to school this morning. David is at work. I have sat here at my computer. I mean, of course, I'm getting up and down a bunch of times to get Mark stuff, check on him, play with him. But he um, has been doing so good this morning. I've been sitting here off and on for a couple hours getting a lot of editing done. I've already edited one and a half videos this morning. Um, it's already 10.30. The day goes by so fast. I have lots more to do. But he's playing so well today. I'm like, keep checking on him. He's doing good. He has a baby monitor that, that sponsored video I did a few has it been a few months ago now a couple months ago last month something I don't know um he has that in his room so if he's playing in there I can pull it up and just watch him on my phone which is really helpful really really helpful if I need to get work done but he's playing so good um and I thought it'd be fun just to carry you guys with me today I have Actually, what I'm about to do is go in the kitchen and do a couple of recipes for a video. Uh, normally, how I do my recipe videos is I just make whatever we're going to have for dinner be that recipe, and I film it. And so it could take weeks to film the recipe video because, you know, I may make those five or six recipes over the course of a few weeks. Well, I need to get this done. Like, we have the ingredients. I want to film it before we leave. So... I think I'm just going to go make up a couple of them. They're very, the one that's coming out, you guys will probably see after this video, is easy recipes. Like things you can make when you have no time. Like better than fast food for you, but you know, just really simple things. Because those are the kind of recipes I like to have in my back pocket <laughs> when things go down. You can have a few ingredients already in your pantry, in your fridge, and then when you have a really busy night, you don't have to fret and worry about what you're gonna do. You have these recipes, and so I'm showing you a few of my favorites. So I'm gonna go ahead and do two today and we won't eat them today, but I will put them in the fridge. We can reheat them for lunches or whatever this weekend. So I think it'll be really helpful. Here comes Mark with a book. What you wanna read? Cow. You wanna read about the cow? You have animals on your pajamas. I just bought Mark some new pajamas at Target. Mark likes to read books over and over and over. We've read this book several times. Who says moo? Happy. What happened? Can you open the door? Oh no. Oh no. Where's that cow? Who says moo? Toy. Toy. Yeah. Cow. Yeah, cow. Cow says moo. Turn the page. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. So I'm going to get busy doing the kitchen okay. stuff okay. and playing with this guy and reading him books in between. Okay. When you're a mom, you have to be good at multitasking. Okay. Okay. So we can do it. Anyway, I'm going to carry you guys with me today. I'll show you everything I do. I'm also planning on doing a big Mexican meal tonight. I'm keeping it simple, but it's going to be burrito bowls. Actually, that might be I may show you how I put together burrito bowls in that quick video because that's a very easy meal, but it doesn't look like it and it doesn't feel like it when you're eating it. It's so yummy. So I'm going to do that tonight. So stay tuned. We have lots of fun things coming and I'll just uh, bring the, bring you guys with me. What's that? Who says cockadoodle do? Yeah, roosters do. Mark is still in his pajamas. I'm in my pajama bottoms, but I changed my top. <laughs> I shouldn't tell you guys my secrets, but that's how I normally film in my pajama bottoms. Because why not? Why not? And I've got my hair up today since I'm cooking, but I did have to fun put on some fun earrings. So let's get started with the day. I thought you guys might like to see a little UPS haul. I was in here doing some recipes and UPS came. And there was a couple of packages. So I ordered the kids some shirts back 
last week when Target was having like a kid's shirt or kid's clothing sale, if you spent $40, you got $10 off. So a couple of the things already came. Uh, actually, pajamas for Mark was mostly what it was. But there was a couple things that shipped separately. So I got this these shirts for the kids. This one's for Mark. It's kind of a peachy color, and it says homegrown. It has a tractor. He loves tractors and cars and any kind of vehicle. So I thought that was cute. I got him a 3T. And then I saw this shirt for Lucy. She loves, like, this lilac lavender color. It's her favorite color. So I just thought it was really cute. I got this one for her. This ended up being $4.00. It was $5, but it was on sale. So I think I only paid $4 for that. And then $5 for this. So really cute. And then also our plexus came. This is actually David's plexus for the month. So we take the triplex, which is BioCleanse, ProBio5, and the Slim Pink Drink. So we're restocking that. Anyway, I'm finishing up these recipes, and it's going to be nap time for a little man. Okay, lots to update you guys on. It's a little bit after 1230. Mark's getting ready to go down for a nap. Um, I ended up calling David to see if he wanted me to bring some of the food I cooked for the video to him for lunch. We haven't been eating lunch every day, but occasionally we have been. Anyway, he said yes. So me and Mark just ran that over to him. And I didn't tell you guys this morning, but my sister-in-law went into labor last night she was supposed to be induced, go into the hospital tonight at like seven to be induced, but she went into labor on her own in the middle of the night last night. And they were at the hospital this morning and my nephew was just born. It's so exciting. I don't have any details yet, but baby Ollie is here. And all the picture I got was kind of like the side of his head and he's got really dark uh, brown hair. And um, my brother said that mom and baby are doing great. So that is awesome. He is a few weeks early. They were going to induce her because of her blood pressure. But she did it on her own. That's awesome. So, so exciting. I wish, I wish we were there with them. I wish I would get to hold that baby. But it'll be probably Christmas before I get to see him, which sucks. I want to see him while he's little. I just don't know if it'll work out for me to see them before then, but they live in Wisconsin, so it's quite the drive. Um, actually, I'm closer to them than my parents are, but my mom and dad are there with them, and of course, they're not at the hospital because of COVID protocols, but hopefully, they'll get to see them soon, and I'm just so excited to be Aunt Jess again. Uh, I have three nieces and nephews, but now I have four, and being an aunt is so much fun. It is so cool to see my brothers be parents be daddies and um, getting to spoil those kids. And he is born on today, May 20th, which is my dad's birthday, which is doubly special. So um, I'm really close to Nate's birthday too. Nate's birthday is in five days. So we got lots of May 20th babies. <laughs> so um, I know it's really special for my dad for him to be born today, especially like not planned. She just wanted to labor, um, but that's really exciting. So Big congrats to my brother Tim and his wife Abby. I can't wait to meet that sweet little baby. Hopefully soon. Anyway, I don't have any details yet. I'm hoping to get some like how much did he weigh and how did labor go and we don't know anything but I know that they're going to be great parents. Anyways, I am about to lay Mark down for a nap and I'm really debating what to do when he's when he goes down for a nap I really need to work but I just feel so tired. I also forgot to tell y'all this morning that Nate was up at 4 a.m. I don't think I told y'all that. He was up running around at 4 a.m. so I am tired. I didn't even get to bed till after midnight because we had a really bad storm and it was thundering and lightning and I just was so afraid it was going to wake up the kids and so I just couldn't sleep and um well, it was not good because Nate woke up so early and yeah, he didn't wake up with the thunder and lightning. He just woke up at 4 a.m. when everything was peaceful and quiet <laughs> and he would run, like he kept running up and down the halls, up and down the halls, up and down the halls. So when Nate wakes up in the middle of the night, if it's before four, if it's like three o'clock in the morning, I will give him more melatonin and try to get him to go back to sleep. If it's four or after, I don't. I just feel like it's too close to time that he would have to wake up around six. 6 30 so I just let him get up and I try 
to get him to be quiet so he doesn't wake up everybody. But he has so much energy, you guys. From the time he wakes up till the time he goes to sleep, he is full on 100% energy. So part of me is like, I could do work tonight. <laughs> David is home to help me. And right now I could take a rest. I will tell you, David has told me, go home and take a nap. I feel like, you know, I should do what he says. <laughs> I just feel so tired. So I may try to at least just sit down for a few minutes and just kind of rest my body. Um, Cause I have been going nonstop. But anyway, I will check in with you guys in a little while. Okay, so I did not take a nap. <laughs> And I'm over here crying my eyes out because I just got pictures of my new little nephew and he is so, so sweet and so cute and I just wish we were closer to go see him and it really sucks to be so far away from home. But anyway, thank goodness for pictures and FaceTime and Facebook and Instagram and all of that. Like I said probably will be Christmas before I get to see him. Um, it's really hard with my brother living so far away. He lives all the way in Wisconsin. I only get to see him once, maybe twice a year. And so it just makes me sad. I wish my kids could grow up around their cousins. And um, we do get to see my other brother's children more often because they live where my mom and dad live. So when we visit them, we get to see my other two nieces and nephew. But um, I'm just so proud of my brother. And I feel like my brothers are all grown up. I I have two baby brothers. And the one that just had the baby today is my little brother, my babyest brother. And I'm just, I feel so old. I feel like they're grown. <laughs> they're all grown up and they're having kids. and. Anyway, he's only five years younger than me, but it just seems like more because he's always been my baby brother. When David and I got married, he was still in high school. So anyway, okay, I'm going to stop crying. I did not take a nap. Oh, and I found out he weighs seven pounds, six ounces, which is really good considering she was three weeks early. So I'm so happy that he's doing well and they're doing well and I've cried and I've sat around. <laughs> the kids will be home in about 20 minutes. So I'm trying to decide if I can, I probably should go do something productive and not just sit here, but I mean, just sit here. I have been reading a lot of electronic books the last week and I haven't started this one yet. And I need to turn it in before we leave. I think, I think it's due before we leave. So I think I'm going to start this book and then when the kids get home, I need to do some housework and some other stuff type of work. But how could you not like a book by James Patterson and Dolly Parton? I mean, I feel like it has to be good. So hopefully it is. And then I got this book. Oops. I got this book at the library too. I didn't realize it was large print, but I actually read this on the Libby app because it came available and I hate large print. So I didn't read it on there. I didn't read it in this book. So I can go ahead and turn that in. Not my favorite. I heard a lot of people say that book was good. It's okay. I give it a solid seven to eight out of 10, maybe seven and a half out of 10. Um, I try to, I'm like really generous with my rating. I don't think I've given any book less than a six just because I feel like I'm doing something bad. Like, I don't know. There's a couple books I read that should have been like a three, but I just feel kind of bad. So I do like a six. Stupid. They're never going to know. Like I should just do the honest truth. So you know whether you should read it or not. But I believe this one, once I start reading it, will be my 29th book. So I am cracking along. I would love to get to a hundred books read. I would love to get to 100 books read over the year. I don't think I'm, a, I'm I'm not on track for that. If I do, if I end up getting to 100, it's because I've sped up <laughs> because it is almost June and I'm at 29. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I have been reading a lot more often the last week. I've read several books, three, two or three. So anyway, I will let you guys know how this one goes, but I'm going to go ahead and start it. I have, like I said, 20-ish minutes before... Um, they get home from school. I am so emotional this week. Hence all the tears. 
um, good and bad. I have just cried my eyes out this week. I cannot, like, I cannot get past my kids being so old that <laughs> they're growing up so fast and, and the end of the year has come so fast and, and I, I don't know why I've just been so emotional this week. I think I've cried more this week than I have in the last few months, but I don't know. I don't know why y'all need to like rein it in and like my eyes twitching probably from stress. Anyway, I'll see you guys back in a little bit. Okay, you guys, so I should have taken a nap while I could because I am fading fast. Okay, so the kids got home and Mark was still asleep. So I decided, shut on my camera. I decided to try to get some of the backyard cut before he woke up. There's still some parts of the yard that are wet because we did have some rain come through last night, but the parts that were in the sun were dry. So I cut all I could right before Mark woke up and then I got a nice cool shower and I'm just trying to wake up because I could just take a nap right now. Um, <laughs> Nate's laughing. Nate had to turn in his Chromebook today, so he was not very happy when he got home. They get a Chromebook for the year, and then um, they have to turn it in at the end of the year, so he was pretty sad. Uh, next year, Lucy will get one, too. She got it, I think, like, up through second grade, gets an iPad. So she's had an iPad, but then third and fourth get Chromebooks. Nate should be able to get a Chromebook next year. He loves Chromebooks. Anyway, um... I'm going to clean up the lunch dishes and start dinner soon. I'm going to have to like cool off before I can even think about eating anything. David's trying to work ahead a little bit because since we're going out of town, he's got a lot of work to get caught up just like me. I have a lot of work I need to do. He has probably even more than me because he has a quote unquote real job. <laughs> Mine is flexible. Like if I don't get it done, then... Nothing happens, you know, I don't have a boss. But if he doesn't get stuff done, like, you know, he has to get stuff done. So he's trying to finish up some stuff before he comes home. And me and Mark are just hanging out. Mark has memorized the book, Little Blue Truck. He knows every single word. And it is so adorable to listen to him say it. Uh, if you don't know him, you probably wouldn't understand much of what he says. But he literally says every single word. It's so cute. So... I'm going to do some dishes and just kind of try to cool off. It is so hot outside. The sun was like beating down on me. I'm a little bit red. I was wearing sunscreen though. I think I'm just hot. So it's beautiful out there. It's a little bit breezy. So it's deceiving how hot like the sun is beating down on you. But anyway, all right. Thought about making some coffee, but I don't think I could drink anything hot. I do have some iced coffee in there. I might make one of those. We'll see. So I just made an iced coffee with some Stoke cold brew, which is my favorite. And I put some of this in there. I'm still loving this. It is so good. I think it's even better in iced coffee. It doesn't taste very blueberry forward. It tastes like buttery, like bakery. This is the cobbler part. I mean, you get a little hint of blueberry flavor, but it's not overwhelming. It's really, really good. So... I'm going to try to kind of wake up and cool off a little bit with this. And then I need to get started on dinner soon and all the things. Um, Nate, come here. Your, yeah, your Chromebook that you'll get in. Come here, Nate. Look, look. Come here. Let's talk about it. Where is your Chromebook? Nate keeps saying, oh, no, where's the Chromebook? Um, bless his heart. He is not happy about losing that Chromebook. So um, we'll see you guys back in a little bit. I'll show you how dinner turns out. Um, I need to clean my kitchen. And oh, I may go sit in my office and do uh, the video for tomorrow, though, because it's a lunch video. I can put it together pretty quick. So I think I'm going to drink this while I do the lunch video. And then I'll come out here, clean up the kitchen, and we'll cook dinner. So that is the plan. I'll see you guys back when dinner is ready. I'll show you guys how it turns out.
guys, it is now getting close to 8 o'clock, which is the kids' bedtime. Layla's in here eating some of her dog food. And I am winding down. I am so tired. I have been going since 4. I never did take a break. I didn't even read. I just kept doing stuff. I wanted to show you guys um, something I got in from Amazon. Not sponsored, but I will link this down below because I think it's really a cool idea. I hope this works. I got a set of two of these. They're Solar Buddies which is, seems like a weird name to me, but the, it's a sunscreen applicator. So this yellow part unscrews and, or maybe one of them, one part unscrews. So this part comes out, you put sunscreen in here and then you close it back up and this is a sunscreen applicator. So with the kids this summer, I like, I don't like the spray kind for them. I've used it in the past and I feel like it doesn't get good coverage, but this is like a roller ball and it's supposed to just like rub on their skin and uh, we'll see how it works. But I got a set of two. It was not expensive. I don't know. It was like maybe 20 bucks or something. And I think this is going to be really handy for this summer. So I got two so that we could put um, the kids sunscreen, the kids I use on them. I know everybody has like different opinions on sunscreen. I don't know. This just came on and made me all pink. Um, I really like the Banana Boat Kids Active because it's tear free. It's sting free. Back, gosh, it's been a few years ago before we found the sunscreen. We tried so many and Nate, what he does when we put sunscreen on him is he immediately starts rubbing his eyes because he doesn't like the feeling of it anywhere close to like, you know, down on his face. And he rubs his eyes and then he gets sunscreen in his eyes and then he cries and it's like this horrible meltdown we have every time we use sunscreen. So I've tried a bunch of different kinds and the one that works the best for us is the Banana Boat Kids Active. I will link it down below if you're looking for a good sunscreen. My kids are very fair. They have to wear sunscreen and this is the only one I found that does not burn their eyes and actually works really well. So I put, I'm going to put one of them back and then I like the um, ultra sheer one from Neutrogena. Mark found me. So we'll have two and there's even a place you can label it so you know what's what. You want to watch the dump truck? Go tell daddy. Daddy's in there. Do your kids do this? Like their dad is right in that room, but they will walk across the house to come find me. You could have just told daddy what you wanted to watch. Anyway, <laughs> I am so tired. I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. I got a lot of stuff done. I ended up cutting half, a little over. I went back out and cut a little bit more um, this, this evening. So as soon as more of the grass dries out, we will do a little bit more, finish it up. And we have a busy day tomorrow. We need to get the boys haircuts. We need to do some shopping. Lucy has a birthday party on Sunday, so we need to buy a gift for that. We have our piano recital coming up. There's just lots of stuff coming up, so make sure you stay tuned. We will be vlogging. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you're new. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.